With a voice like that, Christina Aguilera needs no introduction. With her eight studio albums released to date, Christina's music catalog deserves a revisit. For the sake of this video, we're going to keep our timeline focused on her studio releases and leave aside any soundtrack, live, and compilation albums. So before we start, make sure to subscribe and hit that bell button to be notified when we release a new video. Christina Aguilera's first album was released in 1999 and, just like Madonna's first album, is a self-titled album. It's called Christina Aguilera. That simple. This album was a huge success. Remember Genie in a Bottle, What a Girl Wants, and Come On Over? Yep, they were all major hits. Despite receiving mixed critics, thanks to songs like that, no wonder her album sold 14 million units. It also managed to secure a number one spot on the US charts. Christina was the new hit girl. People were expecting so much from the former Mickey Mouse Club star. Yet for some strange reasons, in 2000, Christina went on to release this album, Mi Reflejo. Yep, she released a Spanish album despite her very limited knowledge of the language. <laughs> Uh, I'm having a problem hearing my translator right now. Hello? <laughs> Mi Reflejo failed to reach the top 20 in most countries and only sold 3 million units. It also received rather poor critics. It really wasn't what people were expecting from the promising pop star on the rise. Everybody on the internet knows! Admit that! <sighs> the same year, for yet another strange reason, she released a Christmas album. Now don't get me wrong, we love some good Christmas music, and My Kind of Christmas is not a bad album at all, but it proved to be yet another disappointing release. Nevertheless, she managed to sell a little over 1 million copies and her Christmas songs are still played in every mall around Christmas time. I guess that's cool, but the industry and fans were expecting some pop music from Christina. They were hungry for it. Luckily, she was about to deliver. In 2002, Christina impressed the world with her sexier and more mature image and sound. Stripped was a hit. Although it never managed to peak at number one, 10 million units were sold. This album is perhaps her most iconic record to date, thanks to songs like Dirty, Beautiful, Fighter, Can't Hold Us Down, and The Voice Within. The variety of songs suggested on the album was astonishing, going from pop to R&B to power ballad. Once again, Christina received mixed critics for this album. Nevertheless, Christina was now regarded as an international megastar. Her following album will finally give Christina the respect that she deserved. Back to Basics was praised by critics, the industry, and by the public. Following her venture into sexy territories with Strip, Christina softened her looks and music, which led to a very successful era. The Back to Basics era was heavily inspired by Christina's idols from the 20s to the 50s. Songs featured on this album include Ain't No Other Man, Hurt, Candyman, all of which were massively successful. 5 million units were sold and the record peaked at number 1 on almost every major market for music. This concept album really paid off and people were expecting another self-reinvention from Christina. But now we know. Because when Bionic was released in 2010, People were generally unimpressed with the record. The album failed to peak at number one on every major market for music, except for the UK for some reason. Bionic was a strange era. Her previous album was filled with rich vocals, real instruments, and a whole lot of fun. This new venture went complete opposite. It was packed with synths, electronic sounds, and rather disappointing singles. Although the song Not Myself Tonight managed to gain some traction, the remaining songs failed to impress even the most loyal fans. The visuals were cool though. You gotta give her credit for that. Next comes Lotus. Released in 2012, this record probably won't be considered as a career highlight for Christina. Although the first single, Your Body, was somewhat successful-ish, the album proved to be another disappointment for longtime fans. Critics were not impressed and many were quick to call the death of Christina's career. Hmm. Wrong. 
It took no less than six years before she released her latest album to date. Released in 2018, Liberation was another low-performing album for Christina. Even her duet with Demi Lovato failed to reach commercial success. Surprisingly, this album is one of her most critically acclaimed in career. Good for you, girl! Throughout her career, Christina Aguilera proved that she can reinvent herself. It's only a matter of time before she releases another hit record. So, we want to hear from you. What did you think of her latest album? Tell us in the comments down below. And also, did you know that she was actually going to be in Vegas for a couple of shows? So, if you're planning to go and see Christina, we'd love to know down below. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe, and hit the bell button to never miss another video. Tell us who you would like us to cover next time. And until then, we'll see you somewhere on the internet. Bye!